What's going on guys, Kaivox here and welcome to a new wand review? If you guys don't already know, uh, on the wand reviews, we, I, review your submissions for wands that you guys either made or drew up. And uh, if I think that there's some tips that I could give you, I do. If I don't, then I say how good they are. If I uh, think they're bad, I tell you guys how bad they are. Um, most of them are pretty good. I, we, we don't get like bad submissions very often. But uh, if you want to submit them, send them over to newwandsday at gmail.com and uh, I will eventually get to them most likely. I go over most of them. It, it, it takes me a little while to go through all of them, but eventually I feel like eventually I will catch up and eventually I will go through all of them. Um, I'm slowly creeping up on it. So, uh, uh, all right. So the first one was submitted by, um, the only name I got here is Octopus Man. So, uh, yeah, you know, whatever. And uh, according to the email, these were all made um, out of some uh, branches or sticks and uh, pretty they're pretty simple designs. There isn't a lot going on, um, but you just gotta, you know, no power tools. So you just gotta kinda work with what you're given. And uh, you did a nice job. Next up, th this one's a little interesting because um, first it was submitted by uh, Anonymous Jerry. And uh, it's according to the, um, to the description in this, it looks like the runes that were drawn up on this were actually made with uh, a magnifying glass. Seems, seems pretty impressive. Like I, I like, I, I gotta say so. It's pretty impressive. That's a pretty strong magnifying glass. Um, but that's that's pretty cool. The design itself is is pretty simple. It looks like you took off the bark, and then um, the big thing is that the the design that you did on there. Um, so yeah, I really like the sh I really like the shape of it. Um, I think that the shape is really interesting. I, I wish the handle was a little bit fatter, but obviously it's a, it's a branch, so you really can't you got to do. You gotta, you can't do, you can't do much when the branch is only so thick, right? So um, it's nice. I like the little burning that you did on it. All right. So next up, we have a uh, another anonymous, but it's not the same anonymous. It's a a different anonymous. And uh, this one's actually two drawings. And uh, let's see here. So this one's a little tough because I do, I do like this the first one, the fatter one. Um, I do think like it's a little bit too fat but it all depends on what you were thinking for that blade part of it. But I, I do like it. It looks like it's two different types of wood sandwiched together partially. Um, but I think that a little bit of it would have to be tapered down just a bit for it to, to work a little bit better. And then the other one is just, it's really cool. Um, there's a couple different like grooved spirals going around it. And then the flat on the, on the handle part of it with the, uh, with the runes on there. That one's pretty good. Um, I think it, it's it's a little bit on the busy side, but it may just be the drawing that looks a little busy. I think uh, when you transfer that to, to real life, it may look a little better. Um, but yeah, keep drawing, keep making up some of these. And uh, I, may, I may make something inspired by that someday. I don't know, they look pretty good, I like them. This next, wand, this next wand was submitted by Paul and it looks gorgeous. Um, it definitely has a, uh, I believe his name was Scorpius from Cursed Child, the, the, the Malfoy boy. And um, it definitely has a feel to his wand. This is what his wand looks like. You could see that it definitely has that same style. The fact that you have the Cursed Child in that picture as well automatically made me think of this. I don't, I don't know if you were going for that specifically, but if you were, I actually like your wand better than this wand. Um, it's, it's just really nice. I love the yellow that you did. You did a yellow stain on it, according to your, your notes here. And it's definitely, a, it has a Hufflepuff feel. It has that Hufflepuff feel. So it, it's, a, it's a cool one. You did a very nice job. Uh, apparently you spent way too much time carving it, uh, but it, it looks beautiful. I, I, it looks like you did a little bit of an inlay of uh, some gold, maybe some gold paint. I don't know, but just nice job, Paul. Nice job. We have another submission by Anonymous Jerry, and this one is a secret wood twin wand. A secret wood wand usually is um, a, you have the acrylic and then you have the wood and it like blends together. And um, I like this idea. I like the twin idea for the acrylic. Um, it just would be, yeah, you could definitely do it. I, I definitely like the design. I like the twist. Um, 
yeah, I got, I don't have much to say. It's just it's a it's a nice design. It look it may work. Um, I may have to give it a shot. It I definitely, I definitely like it. It's pretty simple. It's the drawing is simple enough where I could take my own things from it and uh, and try to figure it out. But surprisingly, I haven't thought about that yet. Doing one, I have a different idea for a twin wand with with secret wood that may you guys may like. So maybe I'll make one of those or that one. Maybe I'll make that one like soon. Next up is a wand submitted by Kevin. And uh, this is Kevin's first wand. I think you did a great job, Kev. I love the runes on the on the blade and the fact that you uh, you mostly burned them away. I think that looks really cool. Burning is a an excellent way to um, to just add some like flavor to stuff, especially when you have a, a, a very drastic stop between the burn and the not burned, which is basically your handle. Your handle almost looks like it's it's wrapped around the burned part of it, which I think looks really cool. It's a, it's a fairly simple design. I'm sure that it wasn't easy to carve in all those runes that you put in there. Um, those are always hard. I love the simplicity of those little like lines that you put on the handle. I think that looks really good. Um, it's just a, it's an A. You got you definitely get an A, for uh, for doing a good job, especially on your first wand. I think I think I think you did very well. Next up, we have a submission by Sebastian. Um, it looks like it's a 14 and a half inch black walnut uh, unicorn hair core, uh, and it took about seven hours. That's that sounds about right. That definitely sounds about right. Um, and it's. It's a cool wand. I'm gonna give you that. I, I really like the design. I haven't made one exactly like that before, but I have drawn some like that that have kind of like a like a cardiogram little heartbeat looking thing. Um, that's how I see that as like a heartbeat type thing. Um, it looks really cool. It it looks like the hardest part of this, I would assume, is the center, is that guard, and how. I don't know if you were trying to make it all one even thing because that's like, oh, I, I feel like it's impossible. I don't even know how I would do that. But um, it's it's just, it, this this is a hard design. I definitely feel that this is a very hard design. Um, I like the the handle, the little uh, door knob, handle, door knob, cabinet knob, cabinet knob, right? Uh, that you have on the end there. I think it looks really cool. Um, I think you did a great job. I think you, you, you did a great job. It's It's... That's a tough design to try to do. I've, yeah. All right, next up we have a wand by Dante, it looks like, and uh, this is a cool wand. Um, I, I, I love the design. I love the the grain on the wood is, is really nice. Um, and one thing that I think would make it, uh, like just knock it out of the park is if the end was slightly tapered, just a little bit more. Um, but I, I just, I really like the, I really like the two pieces um, and, and I like that little arc on the handle. I think it looks really good, but that's the only thing. I just feel like the handle or that, not the handle, the blade itself, the very tip of the blade is slightly too fat. I feel like it tapers down a bit and then it kind of straightens out and goes straight all the way to the end and then just flattens all the way to the end. It should just maybe about, uh, I feel like it should be tapering the entire way from the, the that guard break right there all the way to the end it should be a slow taper all the way maybe it's the picture as well maybe i just can't tell by the pictures but um i it just it's a, it's a cool wand my dude all right next up we have a wand by pillar studios i think um it's a simple design but it's uh it, it did a good job i i don't i'm not a big fan of how glossy the the actual wand itself is but again that's personal preference it's not a big deal um but the the other thing that i think could be a little bit better is that natural you said that it's natural twine i don't know what that means um that it's natural i guess it's made out of natural stuff but um it's the the style of the wrap that you did so it's just a simple like like very tight wrap I understand that that like when it comes to an actual thing that you're going to use in every day, like all the time, whatever, it, it, it makes sense because it's probably more comfortable and it's probably just, you know, makes more sense for like a handle on a sword or something like that. But visually, it doesn't look as good as if you left a little bit of gaps or even gave it a little bit of character by 
doing like a rougher one and then going back and doing like a, you know, a hash mark or an X mark type of thing. Um, I always like that type of, uh, of wrap, more natural. Or even if you did like a little part and then another little part so, and then like a split in between, that could give it a little bit more of like some character and make it a little bit more interesting to the eye. Um, groups of three are, are very important because for some reason I've noticed that when you do things in pair or in threes, it, they look better sometimes than if you just do two of one thing or just one looks good, three looks good. And I think five also looks the best. Like those are the three things. So if you're trying to do certain things like like put a wrap on something and you want to divide it into two, do three because sometimes it looks better. It all depends. Sometimes some it, you really got to go with, with what looks best. But I've noticed that sometimes threes fives and then if you go past that it doesn't it doesn't really matter at that point but uh yeah i like the wand i i think it looks good um it's simple you don't always have to have some crazy design for all your wands um i, I think you did a good job all right next up we have a wand by uh kerbo customs um kerbo you have been uh i think you've sent us a bunch of stuff right let me see this Okay, here we go. I got like I got like three submissions from you, um, and we will go over them. All right, so let's start off with uh, this spirally one, or sort wavy, wavy one. All right, so I I I like it and I don't like it. There's certain things. Um, I feel like you've been around long enough, so I'm gonna be I'm I'm gonna be brutally honest with you. Okay, um, the things that I don't like. And it's probably because of the way that, that this piece was cut out. Um, you probably cut it out of a piece that wasn't thick enough. So that guard, that ball that you have on there is flat. I don't know if you meant for it to be flat. I feel like you meant for it to be more rounded. But since the piece that you cut it off of was too uh, short or too, you know, not thick enough, um, when you were trying to make the ball, it would end up making the thing really small. So you probably decided, hey, I'm going to keep it kind of rounded and flat at the same time because then that won't be as weak. Um, I think that the shape is really good and I think that the design is really good. You know what? I have an idea. I'm gonna quickly draw this up and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is what I assume that what you were going for was, but because of the limitations of the wood that you were working with, possibly you weren't able to do it. Um, I like to do this every once in a while, just take a wand, redraw it, kind of like what I would imagine it to look like um, or kind of try to make improvements on it. it it's a good way so if you guys ever want to just like practice coming up with stuff it's, it's a good way to to do that like look at somebody else's creation try to redraw it possibly and then see if you can come up with like something that you think maybe looks cooler or looks as cool but in a different way um, I'm gonna try to do these more often and, and I'll just redraw some of your guys things and uh, and take it from there and see and see how it how it comes out and see if you guys like it. So the reason that I drew that one is because I feel like out of the three that you submitted, that one was the the weakest link out of the three because the um, the one that you did that's that's Victor Crumbs style looking wand that one looks legit. That looks super awesome. You did a great job. So obviously you can make some some good stuff. Um, the other one's weird because I don't love the wrap around it because I mentioned it in that other wand, um, but I do feel like the actual blade of it looks like bone or something with a little bit of the red. I think it's red that you put in there. Um, it's a creepy wand. It, it's a definitely a, a weird, a weird shaped wand. Next one was submitted by uh, Darren and uh, it looks like it is hand carved, uh, large wood and 12 and a quarter inches long, um, unicorn hair. And I like it. I think it's a. I think it's a cool design. I I like the full taper. That's when the from the blade all the way to the handle. There's pretty much like a, a, a gradual taper the whole way. There's no drastic handle to to blade where the blade is pretty much the same like thickness all the way through. And then it gets a little thinner at the end. Um, this is a a a full taper. It looks like. And then there's that little spiral going around. And then I do like how the spiral that's a part of the whole wand actually ends at the very end with another little spiral. Very nice design. Um, I, I, I like it. I like that little 
flair there. Next up is a couple wands submitted by Lowcore. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm probably not, so deal with it. All right, so we got a couple things here. First one, um, it's a very simple design. I like the little, it looks like it has like some, uh, some ant or, or termite holes in there that you filled in with some gold paint. I really like it, it looks really cool. I would have tapered the blade a little bit more, made it a little bit thinner, just, just a little bit. I think that would have looked a little bit cooler. Um, this one, is is that glue or is that solder? Looks like possibly glue. Um, I think that's like hot glue and then you painted the hot glue or is that solder, like metal solder? I don't know. Again, the blade is a little bit too fat. That's it, that's the only problem with it that I have. Um, now this one, hmm. I really like the shape of this one. I like the little holes. I think you added the holes. Actually, the, the, that first one, did you add, did you do the holes on that too? I can't tell. I can't tell if you made those holes or those holes are like from termites. If you did them, I mean, either way, they're gonna look very natural looking because, you know, a hand is not very steady, um, but it looks cool. So this one, let's see, let's see. This one's another one that's basically like a complete taper, somewhat, but it's, uh, I still feel like the blade, I think that's the, your only downside. Is that tape that you have on the handle? And then like a gem? I don't know, man, I just, you got so much going on here. And then this next one, it's like on the verge of being like really good because of the, the thinness but then the, the, the blade itself is just slightly too fat, just that that's it. But the design itself is cool. These are very dirty style wands. They're very used looking. This looks exactly like a drumstick. I think it is a drumstick, um, but you tried to do a little bit of carving. Drumsticks are really hard uh, from what I've seen. Um, they're really hard to carve because they're, they're made out of wood that's supposed to withstand beatings. Um, literally, you're beating the, the drumstick. So they're hard to carve unless you have power tools, but with your hand, you're gonna have a, a very tough time. All right, next up we have a wand submitted by Hudson from Australia. I think it's Hudson, right? Yeah, Hudson. Um, so you made this for your younger sibling. It's, it looks cool. Um, I, the only thing that I would add to it is maybe like a, like a stain or even a, like a clear stain, like a, not really, it wouldn't really be a stain, it'd be a finish, um, like a clear finish just to make that wood pop. I don't know if you've already done it. Maybe it's just the lighting's a little weird, um, but I think it's a nice, simple design. It looks like you hand carved it and um, you, I think you just need a little bit of color in there, a little bit of like a, some deeps, some deep colors. So like even like a light, stain like a light like a light stain like a not a walnut but something lighter than the walnut like a I don't know just some, some add some a little bit of color or even take like a little bit of a torch and just hit it with the torch really quick to kind of just make everything pop make some of the high spots like burn a little bit just to just to make it that more I don't know how to describe it but that's my tip all right this one was submitted by DC from South Africa I think I've I've talked at least about one of these before, which is that like claw looking one, but the other one doesn't look familiar, but I love it. I think you do these with uh, with clay, right? Like with a epoxy, um, like an epoxy clay of some kind or like a whatever, some sort of clay, but it's they're beautiful ones. Both of them are beautiful. They got the nice taper. You can see that that taper, the end's nice and small, but it's not too pointy. You did a very nice job. As usual, most of your other wands I think were really good too, if I remember correctly. We have a wand submitted by, it doesn't look like there's a name, so I'm gonna call you Enver. And I really like this. I think that if you make this wand, I mean, I just, I love the shape of it. I think that the shape of this wand is like, is gorgeous. Um, I don't really understand what's happening at the very end, I understand that there's supposed to be like a, a, a fantastic beast or some sort of beast animal face. Kind of looks like an animal face a little bit. I think so. Uh, but it looks awesome. Like I just, I really like the way, just I love, just love the shape of it. I think it'll work really well like in your hand and I think it'll look really good. Um, the color looks awesome. The animal head thing is the only thing that I, I don't really understand if it's supposed to be like a bird I, at first I thought it was like a ram with like the 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 horns. 
but I don't get that part of it. I think if you take took away that spiral, or maybe put that spiral somewhere else, it may work better. But that's the only thing. The shape of it, though, that blade looks freaking awesome. Like, that's... I, I may have to copy this sh general shape because it's it's gorgeous. And I love how the end of the blade, the tip just goes, got, does that little dip and then back up, kind of like a finger almost, where it kind of just gives you that little bloop. Uh, beautiful, beautiful wands. And that will uh, wrap it up for today. If you guys want to submit your wands, remember to send them over to newwandsday at gmail.com. There are some rules down below, so go look in the description for the rules for submitting. It just makes it easier for me. And the easier it is for me, the more likely I will show off your wand. Um, and and remember, uh, if you do send it to me and I say something bad, please don't get offended. It's just my opinion. It doesn't mean that I'm right. I, I'm most of the time I'm wrong anyway. And let me know down below out of all of these, which one was your favorite? I think my favorite was this final drawing. Um, I just, I, I love that shape. I think it looks, it looks beautiful. I think it looks great. I think it's my favorite for tonight. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do make wands and um, they usually go up on Etsy as well. So stay tuned for some more of those videos. Um, recently, we've been doing, a, 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 here and there, we've been doing some D&D some, uh, &D stuff. We still do all of our book-related videos. So if you guys like books, make sure to check those videos out. Um, we're trying to really uh, bunker down and do some do some more videos recently or now what whatever soon so i'm gonna try to do one of these every other week and that's why we didn't do a lot of wands today because i'm just for the most part trying to just get this video out as fast as possible otherwise i won't be able to get it out when it came out uh, so hopefully that makes sense to you guys and i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys want to support the channel make sure to check out the patreon page link is at the end of the video and also down below if you if you if you want to if you don't just hang out leave a comment down below let us let us know. Like the video if you liked it. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye-bye.